It's not always easy to tell what's going on under your skin. But what you may not know is that your body is almost always telling you what's wrong and with what organ. You just need to look for the signs. With that said, let's go through 19 common signs that your organs need some help. Club Nails Nail clubbing may not be noticeable at first, but over time the tips of the fingers become enlarged and the nails curve over the top of the finger. Cases can range from mild to severe, and while they don't interfere with day-to-day -day life, it can indicate something is very wrong with your lungs or heart. You see, clubbing occurs due to a lack of oxygen in the blood. Without this vital component, nail beds begin to soften, and the nails themselves appear to float instead of being firmly attached to the finger. It can develop quickly, but will disappear just as fast once the cause is treated. So if you notice your fingertips resemble the ends of a shovel, Call your healthcare provider straight away. Terry's Nail Terry's Nail is a condition where up to 80% of the nail bed is overtaken by a white ground glass appearance. Although mild cases seem hard to spot, severe cases are hard to stop looking at. The white under the nail bed is caused by a huge increase in connective tissue growth and the hormone that causes it is overexpressed as a side effect of some liver diseases. Sorry, Becky, this isn't a problem a few layers of nail polish will fix. Lindsay's Nail On a similar note, Lindsay's Nail, or half and half nail, has the same appearance of a white nail bed made of connective tissue, but it only takes up to 20 to 60%. It's a very slight difference, but has a huge implication. Instead of liver disease, this lesser white nail is found predominantly in patients with chronic kidney problems. These issues are thought to affect connective tissue growth throughout the body, but to a lesser extent than liver disease, resulting in a smaller affected area of the nail bed. Either way, it's not something to be taken lightly, so for God's sake, Becky, stop trying to cover it up. Just go to the doctor. Christ. Bow's Line Bow lines are horizontal ridges across the nails that can appear as one indented line across all nails or a series of lines on each nail. They may look like they've been trapped in a car door, but it occurs naturally and they should not be ignored. This disruption in the nail matrix has been linked to the onset of diabetes caused by the body systemically dealing with a disruption in your metabolism which affects the protein formation of the nail plate. It may just look like a small dent in your nails, but there could be a car crash going on in your kidneys. Yellow Nails You may think this is one of the worst manicures you've ever seen, but this is a natural nail color. Yellow Nail Syndrome is a rare disorder that affects both the finger and toenails, giving them a strange yellowish hue. Although it's unclear exactly what causes it, the disorder has been clinically linked to lung problems, particularly those which see fluid in the membrane surrounding chest cavities such as chronic bronchitis. If you notice this hue creeping into your nails, take a deep breath, then get your chest looked at. Yellow Eyes They say the eyes are the windows to the soul, in which case this lady clearly has a few demons inside her. This yellow hue of her sclera is a clear giveaway that something isn't right with her liver. When hemoglobin, a protein that carries oxygen in the blood, is eventually broken down, it produces a yellow pigment called bilirubin. Bilirubin is carried through the bloodstream to the liver where it's bonded with bile and eliminated from the body, unless your liver is damaged as it's the main organ responsible for producing bile in which case bilirubin begins to build up in the blood and is deposited throughout the body. The whitest parts are usually the first to show the change like the eyes. More severe cases seem the change happen throughout the body like this poor Prince Philip lookalike. Sudden Persistent Floaters You know when you can't stop focusing and you shift your gaze, you can just catch a glimpse of spots, squiggles, and threads floating around in your vision? Unsurprisingly, these are called floaters, and while they're normal, a sudden influx can indicate something bad going on behind your eyes. Sudden persistent floaters are linked to the fluid vitreous of the eye becoming detached from the retina. As it does, blood can leak into the vitreous, causing a sudden increase in the number of floaters you see. Untreated, this can lead to blindness, so make sure to keep an eye on your floaters. Corneal Edema most people love seeing a rainbow, but if you're seeing one around every light you look at, then it's time to get your eyes checked. Light is made up of many different colors focused on one point, so you don't normally see them. 
If they're scattered in a rainbow effect, then something might have gone wrong with your cornea, causing it to swell. Fluid buildup in the eye in this way is called a corneal edema. It can be caused by several things, from inadequate hydration to a buildup of toxins taken into your body from medications. So look beyond the pretty lights and get to your doctor if your desk lamp suddenly develops a rainbow halo. Ulcers I think everyone in the world has had a mouth ulcer at least once in their lives. They're an incredibly common type of sore that develops on the inside of the mouth or on the gums, and while most of us find them incredibly annoying, in some cases they can flag up a huge problem down below. The inflammation linked to mouth ulcers is part of a shared symptom with Crohn's disease, an inflammatory bowel disease that mainly causes symptoms in the digestive tract. In unfortunate circumstances, mouth ulcers can be considered a symptom of Crohn's as an extra intestinal manifestation of the disease. If you tend to get them more often than not, then it may be time to sort out that sore problem. Purple tongue. It may seem like the next e-girl trend is to have a purple tongue, but if you do notice this change in color on your own mouth muscle, head on down to the doctors and get your heart checked because a purple tongue has been linked to problems in circulation and may be indicative of a low-lying heart problem that's not able to pump enough blood to your whole body. That's really putting the cute into acute heart problems. Blue tongue. But that purple tongue isn't the only strange color to look out for. If your tongue becomes a deeper hue of blue, then you could be looking down the barrel of a potential lung problem. The appearance of this blue body part can indicate that oxygen-depleted blood is running through your main arteries, which is a dark red color rather than light red. Without enough oxygen in the blood, your lungs and heart will need to work much harder to deliver the oxygen your body needs to other body parts like your tongue. Stay away from the blue slurpees before you check, though, or that'll be an embarrassing trip down to the doctor's office. Weight loss. Some people have all the luck of eating whatever they want and never gaining a pound. Don't get too jealous though because they may not have the perfect body you think they do. Irritable bowel disease or IBD involves a chronic inflammation of the digestive tract. Damage to the villi, the small finger-like structures on the inside of the intestines, can impair the body's ability to absorb nutrients from food. This means that while some people seem to eat to excess, it may be that they're not getting any nutrition at all. Sufferers of IBD do have to look out for signs of malnutrition during their flare-ups, which can lead to anemia and hair loss. So don't assume unintended weight loss is always a good thing. Loss of appetite. A loss of appetite isn't exactly uncommon. It can be brought on by stress or illness, but sometimes it can act as a big red flag for something chronic. The liver plays a key role in the digestive system and is the focus of several leptin receptors, a hormone which regulates appetite. If the liver is being damaged extensively, this can result in a disruption of the leptin receptors, reducing the appetite of the individual. I guess you just got the leptin eat cake. Migraines. If you're a part of the population that experiences frequent migraines, then you might want to think about doing more than just popping a few ibuprofens. Recent research has shown that people who experience migraines are more likely to develop and suffer from heart problems. Although most of the studies conducted in this area aren't exactly clear on how the head-heart connection works, there are several theories that revolve around sudden blood vessel constriction in the brain caused by poor heart health. So if you want less of a headache, drink water, exercise, and keep that heart healthy. Puffiness or swelling. Ever had one of those days where you felt a little puffy? Sometimes this can be put down to dehydration, inflammation, and a lack of sleep, all the key ingredients of a hangover. But other times, it can be indicative of a problem that no amount of alcohol can solve. Clusters of microscopic blood vessels in the kidneys known as glomeruli have tiny pores in them through which blood is filtered, removing nasty toxins and waste from the bloodstream. If they're damaged, excessive amounts of essential proteins are passed through them and into your urine. Without these proteins, fluids in the blood don't stay in the bloodstream and leak into the surrounding tissues resulting in swelling. When pressed, this can create lasting pitting in the skin, making appendages look and feel like they're made from Play-Doh. But don't play with your health. Get that swelling looked at. Itching There's probably not a human alive who hasn't had an itch at some point. 
but a bout of chronic itching may get under your skin in more ways than one. In cases of complete renal failure, when both of your kidneys stop working, a product called urea begins to build up in your body. As this waste builds up in the blood, it leads to small papules popping up in the localized body part, usually the back, abdomen, or head, which results in raised areas of skin that are impossible not to itch. In some instances, the urge to itch is so bad it leads to skin lesions and infections. Now there's an itch you don't want to scratch. Skin Frost Before you say it, no, this guy doesn't just have really bad dandruff. It was established before that during kidney failure, the buildup of urea can get into the skin, but it can also be secreted by sweat glands as a component of sweat. This leads to a thin layer of crystallized urea forming on the skin that looks a bit like frost and can easily be mistaken for dry skin or dandruff. If you notice that you're looking a little, er, crustier than usual, you're going to need more than a shower. Bruising. Personally, I bruise like a peach. I always have and probably always will. But if you notice that you start bruising more often and more easily than you used to, then it may be time to start looking after your liver. Alongside its main job of filtering the blood from the digestive tract, the liver is also one of the main production points of proteins involved in blood clotting. Developing a condition or a disorder that undermines this liver function will see more blood leaking under the skin, which is unable to clot, leaving you black and blue all over. So to all my fellow peaches, keep a sharp lookout for any unexplainable bruises. They may be worse than you think. Have you ever found yourself with one of these signs? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.